Okay, legends, there's air in the tyres and about to put fuel in the tank. Let's drive for two and a half hours to thrift in Warrnambool. So we stopped in Cobden first. It's a small country town. It's got a great little op shop though. There's actually two of them. So far I haven't found anything, but it's certainly not the end of the world. If you ever here, stop by Cobden and check it on out. I did find this hat. I need to get a price though. All right, so yeah, this is Harley with tags and it's a dollar. So I'm getting that. Angela Anaconda, that's pretty cool. I like these old hardcover books, so they're all 50 cents each for the kids' books. So I always try to find interesting kids' books. I always try to see if I can find Goosebumps and Dr. Seuss and stuff like that for myself. It's, it's often been argued that I can wear anything, so. <laughs> Found a cool granny square blanket for three bucks. And this book here, guys, goes for about 40. Um, I just checked recent comps. Always happy with goosebumps, but they're for me. This is the next stop at the Cobden Health Community Charity Shop. Been here once before, it's pretty cool. So there's some free books out the front that are always worth looking at. Plushies. Let me know if I miss anything, by which time it'll be way too late. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. Golden box. Lots of treasures. I'll let you know if I've got anything. So I just asked the ladies and they're 50 cents a cap. You can't go wrong. So now I'm gonna have to have a bit of a dig through, find some stuff. I'll show you what I get at the end of it. But that's pretty cool, very fair. I love it. That was fun. Picked up um, a lot of caps. I'm gonna show them to you, of course. I wasn't gonna get anything and then there were no prices on the hats and I asked the lady, how much and she was like it's 50 cents a hat now that price you can't go wrong so i'll speculate a little bit there's some john deere caps some uh different branded stuff so keep an eye out and um i'll show you in two seconds i'm just going to chuck them in the car this is another thing too so this is the back of the car but guys always have a look around some of these op shops they just they rather than throw stuff out they'll give it away that entire tub not that but that entire tub which is filled with vhs books it was all free Cake tins do well. Always have a look at them. That was a fifty. National Poker, Carlton Draft, which is a beer company over here. A Quicksilver hat. I might keep that though. I really like that. Rapala and Forex. That's fishing, car racing, John Deere, and Sydney Swans QBE. It's licensed. Fifty cents a hat. And this one just I like the color, the green color. May not sell, I don't know, but 50 cents, I'm gonna take the risk. Like I said, I like it. I might even keep it, don't know. It's a cool hat though. So we're in the foster shop in uh, Warrnambool. I've picked up this uh, Starbucks teddy bear. Starbucks stuff does fairly well. This is from the Vietnam store. Prices are really good, like 50 cents a book, unless marked, lots of clothing. Old Dr. Seuss's always do well. Golden book for me. Got some horror stuff too. I was gonna get it, but I'm not so sure. I love horror movies. They tend to always sell well. But um, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking around, let you guys know what I find. I wouldn't have a clue what that means, but it's a $4 shirt, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'll keep it for me if it's not worth anything. So yeah, this is the shop, foster care opportunity shop. It's a nice little shop filled with little bits and pieces. I didn't find a lot for resale though. So the next stop on the trip is Big R's Shed. I've never been here before, but I've been looking for remote controls and I hope that they've got them in here. Too bad if it's wind. It's pretty cool, five for a dollar. Let's have a look inside, but I think I'll come back to this. Plush is always good. I actually decided to stay and find some other stuff. So Yoda, Tinkerbell, she'll need a clean. 
some other fairy. That's pretty cool though. Yep, yep, yep. Always look for the magician. That's cool. Teen books. I won't bore you while I look through them. I'll just show you if I get anything. These always go well, 30 cents each, can't come, or 33 cents each. Teen horror stuff, chances are I'll read this first though. That's cool. That's cool, it's actually a novel, not a manga. All right, let's see if we can find remote controls. The prices are really good in here. Let's see, let's see. USB cables, all sorts of cables in here. That's pretty cool. But I can't see remote controls. Did I walk past them? I don't think so. 50 Cent Thomas toys, I'll take that risk. Now this is cool, so in case you guys don't know, this is from the game Fallout, this is, um, I think it's Vault Guy or Vault Boy or whatever. Anyhow, that is more than worth one dollar. So that was funny, I found two pairs of country road shoes in there, I took them to a staff member to ask what the prices were and they took them off me and said, oh no, they're not for sale. I said, well, will they be? Do they just need to be priced? And um, <laughs> she took both pairs out of my trolley and said they're not for sale. Someone's keeping them. All right, guys, you can hear the car in the background. Bad luck. That's the wrap up. They're closing early because it's too freaking hot and I don't blame them. I picked up a massive bag of plush Disney stuff, licensed stuff, and that was for $9.50, including the books. You saw some of the haul. You saw me miss out on country road shoes. Let's keep up shopping. All right, guys, let's go to the Uniting Up Shop. I'm sure there's good stuff here, but it's pretty empty too. Here's a win. They're all spork type forks. There's some three prongers there too. I don't know what they're called or two prong. All right, so this place is a bit of a bust. Thought I should look behind me just in case there were caps I wanted. I got this cutlery. Um, sporks, splades, always sell for good money. These are like three bucks a set. I reckon I'll get about 30 bucks. People like them. I've sold blades, real blades, and a collector's box for as much as 75 bucks before. But cheap and cheerful. Always look out for your cutlery. <laughs> All right, guys, that was an unsuccessful thrift. Now we'll go into the lifeline and see what's up. Yo. Just as I was despairing, treasure is found. Richard Scary's cool as. I'll be getting these, as long as they're 10 bucks for the four. If they're each, no. They were 10 bucks each, but the lady's kindly doing them for four for 20, and they comp for about 40 to $50 a piece, so that'll be winning. So last stop in Warnable is at Vinnie's, and we'll see if they've uh, got the goods. Yes, thanks. Hopefully I can find something. 
Now we're talking action man, Thomas. I can see more Thomas in there. I'll be getting them. And I think more action men as well. All right, found some caps. DC. All that magic. They'll need a clean, but not too bad. Five bucks, but it's in decent shape. Zoo York. Once again, I'll give it a scrub. Don't know why I had that one down. Is it anything? It's a one dollar hat. No. And a Hurley cap. They should turn over okay. Vinny's Colac with five minutes to spare. Go, go, go! Marvel toys. Kick me when I don't buy them. All right, legends, I'm back in the car, and that is it for the day. Hope you had fun up shopping with me, and if you didn't, bad luck, I guess. Um, the Vinnie's in Colac, it's a nicely laid out shop, but today, at least for me, there wasn't a lot of reseller treasure, but there was plenty of cheap and cheerful stuff that if you wanted stuff for your everyday, then it wouldn't hurt to have a look. All right, till next time, hooroo.